All right, so what we're going to look at here is ratios and proportions. And this is chapter two, section six. If you're worried, again, make sure you're putting these in your notes. So you should be writing ratios and proportions. So we're going to compare ratios and solve proportions. All right. Um, you should be familiar with ratios. You see them all the time. So what is a ratio? Ratio is like 7 eighths and 49 56. It's a comparison of two things. So let's look at this ratio. One dog for every two cats. This is a ratio. It's a one to two ratio. So if we have equivalent, equivalent means the same, an equivalent ratio would be, well, if there was six dogs, how many cats would there be? Well, if we want to stay equivalent or the same, well, if we always have one dog to two cats, so basically what it means is we need to double the number. So I have, if I have six dogs, that means I would need 12 cats. Or one way to look at it, to get from one to six, I multiplied by six. So to get from two to 12, I also multiplied by six. So these are again called what's called equivalent ratios. And equivalent ratios are what's called a proportion. So something's proportional, it means they're equivalent, they're the same, right? So like here, 7 eighths is the same thing as 49 56. Because if I take 7 and multiply it by 7, I'm going to get 49. Well, if I do the same thing to the bottom, if I take 8 and multiply it by 7, I will get 56. So that's one way to determine if ratios are proportional, is you look to see, well, if I take this times one number, can I do the same thing to the bottom and get the same thing? You can also do reverse. 49 divided by 7 is 7. And 56 divided by 7 is 8. Okay, So you can go backwards or you can go forwards. And if it's the same number, then you know it's equivalent. Just like we did here with the one dog to two cats is the same thing as six dogs to 12 cats. So again, ratios are basically just, it's a fraction. That's all it is. It's a comparison of two things. And a proportion means they are the same. So you may be going, okay, well, what are we talking about this for? Well, we need to determine if these are proportional. They have this thing here called cross products. I have these weird examples, but I'm going to show you one that we can kind of see a little bit better. All right, so let's use, let's go back to our one dog to two cats. It's the same thing as six dogs to 12 cats, right? All right, looking at the other one. Well, cross products. Cross products means we're gonna go across and we're gonna do the product or multiplication. What is two times six? Two times six is 12. And then if I do the other cross product or other cross multiplication, one times 12 is 12. So these are the same. So my cross products are the same. That makes this a proportion. So if we're taking cross products and they're the same thing, we're proportional. You can see them here as well, not quite as obvious. So let's look at another one. Let's go three fourths is the same thing, let's go as nine um, twelfths. If we do our cross products, three times 12 is 36, four times nine is also 36. Thus, these are a proportion, because the cross product is true. So that's a way to check to see if they're proportional, you can do the cross products, or you can do the multiplication thing, one times six is six, two times six is 12, three times three is nine, and four times three is 12. So you may be thinking, why don't I just use these ones all the time? That's a lot easier. Well, because sometimes it's not as obvious, all right? And that's where solving a proportion comes into play. Zoom. I want you to write down this example here. N over 12 equals 3 over 8. 
So we have two ratios. We want, well, wait, we have two ratios that are proportional. Well, what times 12 gives us eight? I don't know. Well, what divided by eight gives us 12? That's a funky thing. So this is where that cross products is gonna come into play. So we're gonna take three times 12, which is 36, and then I'm gonna take eight times n. Well, eight times n is just eight n, right? Look what we have here. We now have an equation. We can figure out what this value of n is just by solving. Divide by eight, divide by eight, n equals 36 over eight. Well, I can simplify that. These are both divisible by four. And we get nine halves or four and one half. So n equals four and one half. So to be a proportion, 4.5 or four and one half to 12 is the same as three to eight. So when we see this, we can do cross products. Just multiply diagonally, set up an equation, you can find a variable. Sometimes you can recognize that, oh, I already know this because I know blah, blah, blah times this is that. And I'll show you an example here in a second. Here's another one. Well, x plus 4 over 12 is the same thing as 3 fourths. Well, I know that 4 times 3 is 12, but 3 times, well, I'm confused on this one. We need to use cross products here. So 3 times 12 is 36. And then we need to do 4 times x plus 4. Well, this would be 4 times x plus 4. The whole thing has to go into parentheses because we're taking 4 times the whole thing. Look what we have here. Distribution. Distribute 4 through. 4x plus 16 equals 36. Two-step equation. Subtract 16. Subtract 16. 4x equals 20. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. X equals 5. So that doesn't mean 5 goes in here. What it means is 5 goes in for X. 5 plus 4 is 9. So that means this is 9 twelfths. So this should be a 9 12. Well, 9 twelfths is proportional to 3 fourths. We saw that up here. Okay. So I showed you, I said I was going to give you an example, one where you can see you can use the over one. So if we look here, if you look at this example right here, what times 8 gives you 40? Well, that would be times 5. So what times 5 gives us 25? Well, R equals 5. Good afternoon, Hanel. Um, as a reminder, we have ordered... I'm going to do another example with the variable and the distributive here, just so that we can see it. So do our cross products. 3 times 5 is 15. 8 times y minus 4 would be 8 times y minus 4. We got to distribute. 8y minus 32 equals 15. We're going to add 32. Add 32. 8y equals 47. Divide by 8. Divide by 8. y equals 47 eighths, because we can't simplify that. Or we can turn this into. Five and seven eighths. So use your cross products to find your missing. Sometimes you can recognize and be like, ooh, this one is easy. Eight times five is 40. R times five is 25. So R is five. Sometimes you can recognize those. Sometimes they're not as easy. And so when we do have a single variable, sometimes we do have to use the cross products. Yes, you will get some fractions as answers. 
So remember a proportion is a ratio that is equivalent or the same. So we can use cross products to solve those. Um, hopefully this made sense. Use your cross product solving equations. Right? Um, get these done, you'll have a couple problems to do. Tomorrow you'll, then you'll have a couple more problems to do. Um, and again, if you're still stuck, email me, let me know. We can set up a video conference or maybe I can answer your question over email. Um, all right, hope you guys are having fun.